Okay, here's the next fidget spinner I'm going to review. This is the Mech Force Delta Core, and this is the aluminum version. I previously reviewed the, I think that's the steel version. Um, if you look at my channel, you can get my review from some time ago about this one. I'm really particularly interested in seeing how the much lighter aluminum version spins compared to uh, the heavy version, which didn't spin quite as long as I thought it would. But uh, So I'm going to test out this aluminum version next. It's a lot cheaper and it's a lot uh, lighter. A lot of people might find this one much easier to use than the, the heavy version, which I think weighs about... I think about 150 grams if I remember right. Oh, I have that right here. It's, it weighs, yeah, this, this uh, the uh, regular Delta Core actually weighs 184 grams. This one, I don't know how much it weighs yet, but it's obviously a lot much, a lot lighter. So I'll, I'll weigh this one too and see how much, uh, how much it weighs. So that's the next one up, the Delta Core in aluminum. Okay, just like with the original Delta Core, the steel one, which I reviewed some time ago, and you can see on my channel, um, I had quite an adventure with the uh, aluminum version of the Delta Core. Um, the issue centers around the bearings. It came with a bearing installed, which I initially tested um, for spin duration. And it didn't do very well, unfortunately. Um, this is really supposed to be a long spinner. It's not really long, a long spinner. I probably should mention first that uh, the weight of this uh, Delta Core aluminum is 60 grams, which is actually really light um, compared to a, I think it was, uh, yeah, 184 grams on the steel version of the Delta Core. Um, the spin, average spin time on this aluminum version was, was uh, 3 minutes and 55 seconds with a little bit of, it was a little bit fast, a little longer being held vertically than horizontally. Not too much though. So it only got a spin duration, uh, an average a spin score of 4 um, and I gave it the, uh, the same subjective score as the original Delta Core which was an 8.6, 9 for appearance eight for feel and perceived quality of nine but it only ended up getting an, uh, an overall score of 5.94 which only qualifies it as a good spinner and basically the takeaway from it is it's a pretty good spinner it's really nice it's, it's pretty good to play with and it's 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 a nice spinner it's just not a long spinner which you would kind of think this kind of spinner would be it's, it's really just not very long now also they sent the original bearing that came in it was a shielded bearing, and that's the one I was just telling you about. Um, and I've, in the past, I've seen these shielded bearings not go very long, but they sent another bearing with it, which was an unshielded version. So I went through the long, arduous task of changing the bearing in this thing, which is not easy at all. Um, and I put the other bearing, the unshielded bearing that they sent with it in this, and tested it a few times. And it really didn't improve the situation much at all. It, it, it still didn't spin long, only about three and a half minutes. So, like with the original, with the steel original Delta Core, I went and put a bearing in here that uh, I know is good. Uh, it's the Naus bearing from uh, Spin Me by Naus. And uh, I did get quite an improvement on the spin time. It, it was the over the average spin time on uh, with the new with the bearing that I know is good was five minutes and fourteen seconds, which qualifies it as a superior spin time, just barely though. And uh, it got an overall score with that bearing of an eight point six, which qualifies it as a superior spinner just barely. So it, it increased its its overall score with the good bearing from five point nine nine to eight point six, which is a a really big improvement 
So kind of the takeaways from this thing is it's, it's a cool fidget spinner to have, and I think uh, I, I didn't look this up, but unfortunately, but I think it costs $49.99 um, or something like that, in, below $50. And uh, you can get it on MechForce's website or they're, they're on eBay as well. Um, the takeaways from this are, <coughs> are that uh, the bearings that the company provides just aren't all that fantastic. <clears throat> and to get the full potential out of this thing, you really need to put a nicer bearing in it. Um, or go through cleaning the bearings, which some people like to do. I don't really get into that. Of course, the, the one that was installed was a shielded bearing. I don't think you can clean those. But it's a good fidget spinner, and it's not unreasonably priced. And it's, uh, it's pretty fun to play with. It's a big chunk of metal but uh, it's not a really long spinner even with a really good bearing it's not a super long spinner it's just becomes a really good fidget spinner so uh, what I would do is get one of these things and put a nice bearing in it put a really good bearing in it and then you're gonna be happy with it it's not uh, it's not wobbly or anything no not clunky or anything and it's uh, looks pretty nice so there you have it. A good spinner, but not a super long spinner. And it's the bearings they send you are not the most fantastic bearings. Okay, so that's the end of that one.